I know you are out there for years, but to get you after toiling in my Dubna lab, we had to ask the Americans over in Tennessee if they could send us some of their wares. But years passed before I could get 22 milligrams of berkelium so I could work in Moscow Blast to get you in my sights. All that time, all I could do was research, hope. I'd work, I'd go, and I'd stand on my own, and I'd leave on my own, wondering how long it would take before I would see what you might be like. You see, I used to work at the pharmacy at Nevsky Prospect in Leningrad. That's when I fell in love with learning about chemicals. That is when I wanted to discover something truly new. And that's when you came into the picture. Because after years of work, I still waited for those damn Americans to come through for us. I mean, we're scientists. We're supposed to be on the same side. This is all about discovery. And the thing is, the higher we get in our research, the more stable we got on our little island of knowledge. But this waiting Chris, was exasperating. I got to the point where I got tired of trying to tell myself that I had something to discover, something to share that someone wanted to hear. Eventually, they had to ship what I needed to get you in five packages wrapped in lead. It flew back and forth across the Atlantic five times and was rejected twice by customs. But once I got what I needed, no, oh, you were just about the heaviest thing I could imagine. And then again, you've had me spinning around over the years for you, so it wouldn't surprise me if you'd do the same for me. So I'd work while listening to the radio, and active actions from you would come to me in short bursts. But I'll take whatever I can get in my little corner of the world. This is research. And this is what I do to learn what I can from you.